Hello everyone, my name is Saur and welcome to the fourth devlog of Mortal Glory 2, a turn-based gladiator roguelike. Continuing from the last devlog, I'm going to be focusing on the combat still, and this time I'm going to add some brand new features to the combat that weren't there in the first game. The first of those is what <laughs> I call myself Dynamic Tiles. I don't really know how descriptive the name is, but I'm using that for tiles that have some kind of a special effect. For example, a burning tile. So maybe you cast a fireball somewhere and it spreads these like fires around it and those tiles will be left burning and then if you, if you enter that tile you will get take some burning damage and yeah, stuff like that, so that's dynamic ties. And the first one I wanted to add was actually just that, a fire tile. And to make it a bit more interesting, I decided to make it like this spreading fire that after each round it would spread to nearby tiles. As you can see, it's a <laughs> pretty scary tile to play around with. I probably can't use it too often in the game itself. And to make it even more scary, it actually led to this bug here. So yeah, when all the units died, the game doesn't end yet, there's no lose or win condition. So yeah, the units, units were dead, but the fire kept going, it was burning and spreading and burning and spreading, and as you can see, it never stops, so... As fun as it looks, I... <laughs> probably can't leave this one in the game. But I do actually love seeing kind of like bugs like this. Well, this one is not even a bug, but yeah. Kind of like this game functionality going wild. Something unexpected happens, but it is still following the logic as you have typed it in. And yeah, it's, it's pretty cool actually to see stuff like this. Quick self-promo time. Did you know that I recently released a Patreon for the channel? If you want to support the channel and get special perks like a monthly extra video and access to sales reports, give it a look. I appreciate all the support. And now, back to the devlog. Then another brand new feature that I thought would be fun in the game uh, are these object units, as I like to call them. So in this clip, you see this black square, that is actually an explosive barrel. And well, yeah, if you attack it in melee, that's going to be a bad time for you. Then this new black square here, that is not an explosive barrel as you might think. That is actually a tiger cage, which you can obviously see if you look closer at the black square. But yeah, I figured that would also be a fun mechanic that if you break this cage then it will unleash a beast of some sort that will wreak havoc on the battlefield. So yeah, the yellow square is obviously a tiger. I'm sure I didn't need to tell you that, but yeah, as you can see, it, it can move on its own. And I figured that the object units worked as well as they should at this point, so I actually moved forward to another feature. This one is familiar from the first one and that is knockbacks. So I think this is actually one of the funniest features involved with the core gameplay loop. So sometimes when you hit an opponent and maybe you get lucky or maybe you're using a specific skill, your attack can actually knock back the enemy and then if they hit walls or another units they will take some extra damage. Yeah overall a really fun feature to play around with. After implementing knockbacks I got this cool idea in my head how I could combine the knockbacks with the object units I just added. I thought that hey wouldn't it be cool if you could actually like throw these new explosive barrels at your enemies or maybe more like push them <laughs> towards enemies so they will explode. I mean otherwise you would just like 
avoid if it has an explosive barrel, not go near it at all. But maybe if you go near it and then do a melee attack, but instead of hitting it, you will actually push it. I figured that's a very cool idea that will add more variety to the combat and also create this fun little dynamic situations like you need to be careful of the barrels but you can also like cause a lot of dangerous situations uh, with the barrels yourself. I also added these simple health bars to the unit so yeah you can actually see when damage is being done to the units and I was already having a lot of fun testing the barrels when I added them to the game so my prediction is that yeah, they will be a very fun part of the core gameplay. Let's see, at least currently that's the case, but we'll see how the game will evolve as I develop it. Then after that I got a idea for another feature I could work on. I feel like I'm just kind of like just jumping around to whatever comes to my mind, but yeah, I think that's one of the fun parts in the early development. So what I started working on next was uh, saving and loading maps. This feature also was very clunky in the first one, so I wanted to make some major improvements in it so I could actually like feel more comfortable making maps and saving them. Basically how I'm doing it now is that I have these different tile map layers, for example for the background, then another for the walls, and then another for some dynamic ties and yeah, all the different layers listed and then I'm just saving each layer separately to this list of, uh, well I think it's actually dictionary probably, uh, so it has the like coordinate and then what uh, tile that coordinate should hold. And then when it's time to load the map, it's just simply going layer by layer, checking okay, should this coordinate have a tile in it and then it will print the tile there if needed and yeah, it's it, it's actually quite simple and based on my testing it works really great. And hey, that's actually everything I have for this devlog. I hope it was interesting, if it was, please leave a like and I would also love to hear in the comments what you think about all the stuff I did. But yeah, hey, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.